Hi, I'm Scott Bradford from the Rio Grande Jewelry Tech Team, and today I'm going to show you how to program your Rio PMC kiln with the new Bartlett touchscreen controller. I'm going to show you how to load the pre-made programs, and we're also going to be looking at how to program for enameling, metal clay, and casting burnout. So let's get started. So to access our pre-installed programs, we'll first want to hit the load button and then select custom. And you can see at the top of the list are our pre-installed programs for PMC, uh, bronze clay, white copper clay, uh, including others. And to load these, we tap on the program, which loads it and we select OK and now it's been loaded into our controller. And if we want to see what it's actually doing, we can hit the view button and see the ramp rate, the target temperature, and the time it's going to hold at that temperature. So if we wanted to execute this firing, we would go ahead and hit the start button. The first program we're going to do is for enameling. So to do that, we need to bring in a new program. So we're going to select the load button we're going to press custom and we're going to scroll down to one of the blank programs down here. So here we go, user 13. I'm going to select that one and load it. Now to edit the values within this program, we're going to hit the edit button. And we have three things we need to adjust. We have our ramp rate, which is measured in degrees per hour. This is how fast it will ramp to your target temperature we have our, our target temperature here that we want it to reach and our hold time or how long it's going to hold at that temperature. So for this, we're going to do a full ramp up to 1450 and we're going to hold for an extended period of time. So the kiln will maintain temperature as our enameled pieces are going in and out of the kiln. So to adjust these values, I'm going to tap on the value. And since we want a full ramp, we're going to key in 9999 for a full ramp and hit save. Our target temp is going to be 1450. So I'm going to select that and save. And for our whole temp, I'm going to set it for about six hours just to hold that time or hold that temperature for plenty of time. So it's measured in hours on the left and minutes on the right. So I'm going to key in six zero zero and save. So now we have our ramp that will ramp full to 1450 and hold for six hours. We can also hit the graph button to see this represented on the graph. And once we're ready, we can hit the back button. And now this program is in there. So we can hit the edit button again, just to make sure that everything looks good. And once we're ready, we can hit the start button and that program will execute. So for the next section, we're going to be doing a program for metal clay. Now this is going to be a program for PMC three, and we're going to be ramping full to 1650 and holding for two hours. So I'm going to create a new program. So the first thing I'm going to do is go to load and go to custom, scroll down to one of my blank programs here. So I'm going to go to user 14 and load that. And then to edit the values within that program, I'm going to click edit. And for our ramp rate, we want that to be full. So to do full, I'm going to key in 9999 and save. Our target temperature is going to be 1650. So 1650 and save. And our hold time is going to be for two hours. So I'm going to click on that value. Set that for two hours and save. Now, if I want to 
mark this inside my kiln as my own custom program, I can select user 14 up here at the top and actually input our own name in here for our new program. And then click save. So now we've added our own title to this program. Now once you're ready to fire this program, you hit the back button. If you want to review, you can always hit the edit button to see what values are in that program. And when you're ready to fire, hit the start button. Next, we're going to be doing a casting burnout. So we're going to start by going into load. We're going to select custom and we're going to select another blank program. So I'm going to go to user 16 and load that one. I'm going to select edit so I can adjust all my values. Now with a casting burnout, we need multiple segments. So the way to add a segment is by pressing on the number over here on the left. You can either insert a segment, which will insert it in the middle of the list, or add a segment, which will just add it at the bottom. So I'm going to select add segment. And I'm going to need four segments for my burnout. So I'm going to go ahead and add those in. So select the number. Uh, you can see now that we've added a segment. If you want to remove it, you can also delete it. So I'm going to add this segment and then I'm going to add one more. So for our burnout, we're going to start with a 300 degree per hour ramp. Up to 300 degrees. and we're going to hold for four hours. So we have 300 degree per hour rate to 300 degrees, hold four hours. For the second, we're gonna do a 550 degree per hour ramp up to 700. and we're going to hold that for two hours. So 550 degrees per hour to 700, hold two hours. Next, we're gonna do another 550 degree per hour ramp up to 1350. and we're going to hold that for four hours. In our last ramp, we want to ramp full to do that. We'll key in 9999 down to 950 degrees. And I want to hold this for an extended period of time. That gives me plenty of time to cast when I'm ready. So I'm going to set this for, uh, let's say, eight hours. I don't have to hold the flask at that temperature for the full eight hours. That just leaves me some time to cast when I'm ready. So we have our program here, a 300 degree per hour ramp to 300, hold four hours a 550 degree per hour ramp to 700, hold two hours, a 550 degree per hour ramp to 1350, hold four hours, and then a full ramp down to 950, and we're gonna hold eight hours. Again, you can select the graph button if you'd like to see that represented on a graph. And now this is programmed. So if we hit the back button, We'll be back at the main screen and we can still review this program by pressing the edit button so we can see that all of our values are still in there and when you're ready to execute this program you can hit the start button thank you for watching if you found value in this video please like and subscribe and if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comments